Right, thanks, Alan. Um, my name's Liam Fraser, and I'm the creator of Raspberry Pi Tutorials, and I've uh, come today to give you a quick talk about what I've been up to. Um, so who am I? I'm the creator of the Raspberry Pi Tutorials YouTube channel. I also administer a server voluntarily for the Raspberry Pi Foundation. Um, so that's like a mirror system. So basically, I manage the distribution of the operating system images that make the Raspberry Pi work. And also, because of my work on Raspberry Pi tutorials and how big that channel got, I also work for Linux User and Developer Magazine as a technical author and writing written Raspberry Pi tutorial articles. So Raspberry Pi tutorials, I created the YouTube channel on the 31st of October 2011. And this morning I checked, and I've got roughly 10,000 subscribers and almost a million video views to date, which is uh, something I think is quite impressive and sort of shows how big the project is. So, yeah. <laughs> thank you. So, I'm just going to quickly go through the um, tutorials I've done, and I've sort of split them up into five playlists. So, the first um, couple of tutorials I did, which was back in October, just to sort of see uh, how they go, was um, like setting up a virtual environment which would emulate what would be on the Raspberry Pi. Um, and more recently, I've upgraded these tutorials so it, so, uh, it says at the start, if you, have, if you have actually got a Raspberry Pi, then you don't need to start here. So I got quite a lot of uh, views on this, and then after I got um, quite a lot of interest off these two tutorials, I moved on to a couple of uh, like introduction Python tutorials, so like Hello World, um, stuff like that, introducing the environment that we'd be using and a little bit about the language and how it worked. Then after that, um, I thought, well, what's going to get um, people interested more than doing games? So we started, I started using something called Pygame, which is a really um, easy to use way of um, making like little 2D games. So the first game I made was um, called Pie Shooter, and we did that across about four tutorials. Um, and I suppose each one got more difficult as it, as it got along. And it looks like this. It's sort of like an arcade-style shooter. So the uh, little Raspberry Pi logo would move across. And then you'd click the, uh, you'd cl like move the crosshairs with the mouse and click on it. And that would make your score go up. And then the next game I did was something a bit more, uh, bit more advanced. And that's a snake game um, called Pi Snake. And there's more tutorials there. I think there was about eight tutorials that made up that game. Um, but obviously I can't fit them all on the screen. And that looked a little something like that. So um, the little Raspberry Pi logo is generate anywhere on the screen, and then the green square would be your snake. And as you um, like run into the thing more times, it would get longer, and your score would go higher. Um, and then more recently, the tutorials I've been doing, which I suppose are the most useful, really, in terms of like for beginners, is um, getting your Raspberry Pi going. So you've just got your Raspberry Pi and you've got an SD card and you need to get it ready. Um, and I did a version of that a while ago, but I've recently, uh, I had to take a break off Raspberry Pi tutorials because I have my exams and stuff like that. <laughs> um, so I th it was only a few days ago, um, probably about two days ago, and already that's got almost 2,000 views. Um, because I did a tutorial on preparing the SD card, but it was a bit confusing, and people were um, complaining in the comments. So I've redone it, and, it, and as you can see there, it only takes about five minutes to do once you've downloaded the thing. Um, so coming soon, I've managed to get hold of a Mac, and I'm going to do the same tutorial for um, a Mac, So because I've had a lot of comments saying, that, you know, I've got a Mac, how to do this on a Mac. So there's going to be tutorials on getting a Raspberry Pi going uh, or setting the SD card up on a Mac. And uh, that's really all, all I've got to say. Just check out Raspberry Pi tutorials. Uh, if you type it in on YouTube, it's uh, quite easy to find. And if you've got any suggestions for uh, tutorials, feel free to come and speak to me in the day. All right, thanks a lot.